Hi, this is Barry here, and you're very welcome to today's podcast episode from rightcom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled, What You Can Learn From The Little Red Hen. Now, recently, a neighbor of ours was moving away. And as you know, most people do when they move to the new home, the last thing you want to do is to take all the junk and all the, the trash with you that you know you don't need. So she was doing a spring clean and she was going through all the old books that she had because her kids had outgrown all the kind of, you know, the young kids and baby books and all those different things. So she was giving all those things away rather than throwing them in the bin. So because we have a seven year old in the house, our Finn, um, you know, like most boys, he would rather spend all day playing on devices like Kindle Fires and all that and, you know, not reading would be the last thing he'd want to do. But recently we have put a big effort into doing a little bit of reading at night time and, you know, finding books from and, you know, stuff that's going to get his attention. So when I had the list, when she gave the, the bundle of books over to the house, I was just going through them anyway. And I came upon The Little Red Hen and it brought back so many memories. I remember actually reading that book when I was younger and loving the story of it. And, you know, if you haven't heard of The Little Red Hen or you don't know what the story is about, basically it is one of those kind of... Um, you know, one of those farm farmyard kind of fairy tales or something with a bit of a moral in it. And it's, you know, one of these things where all the animals can speak and, you know, nobody wants to kill anybody. And, you know, they're all like a big happy family. But basically, this little red hen had a bag of seeds and she wanted to grow them. She wanted to grow them into a crop of wheat. So how the book begins is the little red hen goes through the farmyard and she comes upon the cat she comes upon the cockerel and all the animals the goose and the duck or whatever it is and each time she stops and she asks them would you give me a help to plant these seeds and of course everybody says no i'm too tired or it's too hot or i haven't got the time and all this crack and she buries she of course she goes on her own then and she takes her time and she plants all the seeds and then you know over the next couple of days and weeks and she has to take care of that crop so again she has to go back out to the field and you know she has to shade it from the sunshine she has to make sure that it's getting plenty of you know water on the hot days and each time she goes through the farmyard she comes upon the animals and again asks for all their help and of course everybody says no i'm too busy or i'm too hot i'm too tired and i can't do it and you know all those different things so you know as the the, the crop of wheat is growing until it's finally reached its, its full height she knows that she needs to cut it down Again, she goes through all the animals, asks everybody for their help. And of course, everybody says, no, I'm too busy. So she ends up having to do all the hard work on her own. She collects all the wheat and then she knows then that she has to take it over to the windmill, to the grindstone to get it ground down into um, flour. So again, nobody seems to be around to help her and she goes through the whole process of doing everything herself. And then finally, she takes the flour to the, the, the farm kitchen and she decides to cook this bread that she's going to eat. So of course when the you know when the smell of the the bread comes out and it's traveling all over the farmyard all the animals noses are you know catching the scent and they're all kind of saying well, what's that smell and they all head towards the kitchen door so then they're looking in the kitchen window and they're watching her then and she's pulling out this big huge loaf of bread and she puts it out on the table so of course everybody's licking their lips and they're looking forward to this slice of bread that they're going to get and you know out of the blue she just you know she just more or less closes the door on them and she sits and she eats the, all the bread on her own and they're looking in the window and they can't believe that you know that she's done it so finally they say well you know why aren't you sharing your bread with us so then she goes through the whole process well i asked you to help me you know plant the seeds i asked you to help me water the crop i asked you to help me cut it down i asked you to help me grind it and none of you helped me and because none of you helped me you know why should i share the fruit of my labor with you so they learned a lot from that lesson and you know Although like it's a kid's story that you know the story has stuck with me a long long time and you know sometimes it depends on maybe if you're not getting support from your family if you're not getting support from friends or maybe people are saying oh why are you bothering being a fiction writer you haven't got the talent to be a fiction writer you know you haven't you you know it's a beautiful day you should be out running around you should be doing this you know you should be going down to the club or going to the bar with us you know why are you locking yourself away there for a couple of hours even every evening you know writing that book or doing this or trying to get that blog off the ground because you know it's not going anywhere nobody's visiting your blog you're not making any money from your writing and you know maybe you've heard those stories yourself i've heard those stories many many times or maybe you've reached out to somebody maybe who's at a higher level than you and you know you've got the sound of crickets nobody maybe you were interested in maybe get, going to that blog owner and you know you're interested in maybe getting um, a guest post on that and you've contacted them and they haven't got the manners to get back to you and you've just heard you know it's just complete silence and you know 
in those situations I think you know although you can turn around and you can say well it's not a negative it's not a positive thing you know you should be you know giving good vibes out to the universe or whatever it is if you're you know one of those law of attraction people and woo woo and all that crack sometimes you need something negative and, and you know you might turn around and you can say well what the, the, the little head red hen did was kind of a little bit spiteful but I'd say it was that spitefulness that kept her going that kept her you know going out to that crop because she knew you know at the end of the day she was going to have that bread and she was going to sit there and she was going to enjoy that meal and she was going to make sure that they watched her enjoying it and sometimes you need that little bit of spitefulness to you know to power you along you know that you you're going to stand in front of that person and you're going to say here look at my kdp platform look at the dashboard on the platform here look how much money i've made for my book this past six months or you can look, look at them and say look how many people are coming to my blog every day or look at you know what you said I would never make money online and here's the affiliate check that I've got from Amazon or whatever it is and sometimes you need to have that you know picture in your mind where you're just going to stand in front of that person and you're going to say you know point the finger and you say this is for what you didn't believe in me and look what I have now because of that because it's sometimes you need that and I find that I have you know you might say well you know uh, we're all grown ups so we shouldn't be thinking like that but even in my case I know I have reached out to people that are beyond me I have stopped getting emails from people who I followed and who I looked up to and that spitefulness and that you know that grit is in me now that I am going to turn around and I am going to outbeat their blog I'm going to have a bigger email list than them and I'm going to have all those different things and that's what you know has given me the the kind of the the fuel to get up every day and to to do those daily actions because I know every time I do them it's bringing me closer and closer to that goal and I'm going to have that moment where I'm going to say now whether I ever meet that person again I may never you know I may never ever communicate with that person again but for me it's going to be like a goal that I'm going to have that I'm going to have this thing and this is what powers me up now you can say well maybe that's a negative thing you shouldn't be thinking like that you know you should be trying to build you know constructively or build your business but sometimes you know when you're in the very very beginning and it seems like nobody is supporting you you know like who can what can you power yourself along with you know it doesn't matter how many positive thoughts or whatever you have sometimes just to get the ball rolling to to, to you know to force yourself to take the actions over and over again you need that little bit of spitefulness and that kind of i'm going to show you what i'm going to do for example, I was listening to a recent podcast from Jamie Alderson and when Jamie used to be in the army and, you know, when he finally left the army, um, the day that he left, I think he was talking to one of his commanding officers or whatever, was, and the commanding officer says, well, you're never going to amount to anything. And Jamie took that as, you know, fuel for his next goal that he was going to do. So Jamie then was interested in fitness and he wanted to be a trainer and, you know, he he eventually got a gym but this kind of spitefulness was behind him saying i am going to show you i am going to have one of the best gyms out ever i'm going to be on instagram and i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that and you know it came to a stage where J jamie fulfilled all those goals he and this kind of spitefulness fueled him on that he was going to show this commanding officer or whatever that this is what you know he was going to point the finger at him and say look you said i wasn't going to amount to anything look at all i've done and eventually found jamie said he hadn't seen him in a long long time and he bumped into him one time and um you know the, the anger or whatever he had like it had calmed down over the years but um he was surprised and the commanding officer said you know something he says i'm really really proud of you he says when you left the army i didn't think you were ever going to amount to anything he says and i've been following you for the last couple of months on instagram and i've been following you on social media and i can see all the different things you're doing and you know you've really really surprised me what like, you were able to do and you know at that moment jamie you know it's it, that bitterness or whatever it totally dissipated you know it was gone but you know it took that all that anger you know maybe he might have never seen that commanding officer again you know and but this was the thing that powered him and got him going and got him building was to kind of show this person what he was capable of doing and sometimes you need that kind of grit in you to fuel you so whatever you are at the moment you know if you're not getting any support from somebody sometimes maybe you just need to kind of turn that little you know anger of you know you valve up a little bit to, to power yourself along you know to have that you know picture that moment of when you're going to turn to that person and say you know there's that fiction book you said i would never be able to write there's that blog that you said i'd never get traffic to and there's for the time that you said i would never make money on the internet have a look at this and you know who knows you may never see that person again but i think maybe you need sometimes you need that kind of a, a little bit of spitefulness to to get the ball rolling so i hope you enjoyed this podcast episode and again if um 
if you did learn something from it and if I motivated you to take action or to still keep kind of plodding away and following along your dream, I would really appreciate if you could share this episode with one other person or maybe to tweet about it on social media and, you know, tell people what you're listening to and what you've learned from the podcast episode. I would really, really appreciate it. So as always, if you are in the writing game, I would um, I have a free report over on the Writecom site. That's W-R-I-T-E-C-O-M-E dot com. And it's a great free report. I'm going to show you tips and tricks to promote your book, how to sell your book and how to work on your fiction character and help with book reviews and all those different things that are necessary to have a really successful um, writing career and again this report is totally free if you come on over to the site so you can pick up a free copy there so as always thanks for sharing your time with me again today and take care and have a great day bye bye